Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I am giving you my thoughts on our year. How did it go? What worked? What didn't? Um, all of those fun things. I'm finally getting a chance to film this for y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and share my first graders curriculum, fourth grade curriculum, and what we did as a family, what we didn't get to, uh, and maybe some things that will be coming along into the upcoming year. So if you're interested in all of that, stick around. Okay, so we started the year with teacher child to read 100 easy lessons. Um, and I had originally been doing um, the Ordinary Parent's Guide to Teaching Your Child to Read. Um, it's from The Well-Trained Mind. And I wasn't really happy with it. I actually have it. Hold on. That's this one here. Uh, we started this one in his kindergarten year. This entire year, he's been seven. Um, and he was just, I think I started teaching him a little too young, like the basics, you know. He's my kid that's highly distracted, just, he's a boy. I mean, he's a boy. I don't know why I have a need to overcomplicate it, but he's a boy. <laughs> he just has a lot of energy, he wants to play. And when he was younger, you know, I was like, okay, let me do all the preschool, let me do all the things. He's my kid that I've homeschooled all the way through. So, he's very intelligent. He knew all the scientific terms for dinosaurs, all the dinosaur names by like age three and four, you know, those were the things that really interested him. Animals is something that he's always loved. So those were things that he could learn quickly. But when it came to like letters, numbers, sounds, all that, it took a little bit of time. And um, I think I was just kind of uh, beating myself up about it a little bit. And uh, I should have just paused, took some time and then just came back to it. But anyways, that was a little off trail, but just a little backstory into uh, this particular kid. So we started with uh, the Ordinary Parents Guide to Teaching Reading in his kindergarten grade. And I didn't like this because it's very scripted, like very scripted. And for me, I just like to kind of go off the cuff. And I felt it was harder to do that with this particular curriculum. Um, this curriculum can be stretched into, I think, two years. Um, and it's at a really solid reading level when you finish. So I was really interested in using it, but it just didn't work for me and my teaching style. Um, so I decided to try uh, the teacher child to read in 100 easy lessons. And I don't know why I was standoffish of this curriculum at first. So many people speak highly of it, um, but it was my first choice. But it's been wonderful. And, you know, it could have been just he was ready. You know, like he was ready to just get it done and learn. Uh, so we used this at the beginning of the year. And we only got to, I think, um, lesson 66. And I stopped because he was just reading really well. And I was like, you know, we had been practicing this, obviously, in kindergarten. And, you know, it took a little bit of time and then came back to this. Uh, so it was working and so I just started having him read. Now, he was working on uh, the McGuffey primer uh, when we were, uh, when we finished this. So we stopped here on lesson 66 and I started him on the primer just reading the lessons and then we would do some copy work um, and that was working that was working well um, and but I felt like he was getting bored uh, so this is kind of his notebook these are free on underthehome.org so if you use the McGuffey's and you just want like a free workbook they do provide those uh, so this is just copy work. It's just copy work, I think, for the primer and the uh, first McGuffey, the revised. Uh, so that's what I was having him do. So obviously, I don't know, we stopped. We stopped at lesson 25. 
and I started him on the um, pathway readers and he's been doing so so well with these uh, he's read he's read the red one the first steps which is uh, their pre-primer and then the primer is it primer primer whatever and then the, <laughs> the blue one and then the green one he's currently reading so these are pretty much chapter books and he's doing really well with them uh, the first one the pre primer kind of you know has w words that they're introducing on the bottom and they kind of get away from that and the other books and all the words are in the back so you can um, you know bring those to your child's attention ahead of it but we're just kind of just reading it we were using uh, the workbooks which we've kind of gotten away from uh, so the workbooks are like this I shared these in another video of kind of how it works um, I was crossing out some things and we were working on other things, but I just felt like I really wanted him to just keep reading. Um, and this started to feel like it was taking too much time because like all of this sort of thing is great, you know, reading comprehension, all of that. Um, but the method that seems to work best for us is narration. And so I want him to just get in that flow of reading consistently um and then we can kind of jump into all the mechanics and all of those which he kind of he gets in his language arts already so this is just was kind of an extra thing so we kind of stopped it but we did do the workbook for the red one we did finish that and so this is the blue one which he already finished his book so we did not finish this workbook so we kind of just put that down um, and we're just reading. So he is currently on the green book. Uh, my plan was to continue this for next year. I have already posted all my curriculum choices for the upcoming school year. Um, so I'll link those at the top if you haven't seen them. But the plan was to continue this. But honestly, I think I'm just going to move him back to the McGuffey's. We're just going to jump ahead and we're going to do... Uh, the first reader uh, and I'll have him do copy work out of this so once he's done with this we're gonna move into this and I'll probably have him read from the beginners Bible as well and we'll just kind of alternate that's the plan at least uh, but he's doing so well with his reading he's reading and that was what I wanted from this year I wanted him to be reading first and foremost uh, we did begin the year by finishing foundations phonics I just love this curriculum because there's so many great uh, just reflections and Bible stories and all of that. So I just wanted to, uh, I have fond memories of doing this with my daughter. Uh, my daughter, I've been homeschooling since, well, technically since the middle of her kindergarten year, but officially with, you know, curriculum and all the things, her first grade year. So we did use this. Um, and I just, I think it's, I think it's beautiful. So I wanted to finish it with them. So we finished that early on in the year. And the second half of the semester, he worked on language lessons for living education. We did finish this. Um, we didn't use the reading components. Um, well, I should say I didn't have him read it. I did read the books. Uh, let me see if I could pull the books. So these are the books recommended for uh, the first level of language lessons for living education. I did read these to him because they are great books. I love the stories in these. Uh, so I read these with him. Um, he just didn't read them to me. He was reading his own things. I did this again with my fourth grader, my eldest. 
Uh, so I'm familiar with this. This is not my favorite level of language lessons for living education. So I knew how it was laid out. I knew how I was going to use it. I knew what I was going to use and what I wasn't. Um, so I basically just had him go through the grammar portion and he read all of the uh, words. We went through the lists and all of that. So um, that worked well. That worked well. He finished that, uh, I think, a couple weeks ago. Um, so that was uh, his language component. Um, for handwriting, he just did pen time one. And we haven't really, other than the copy work, um, picked up another handwriting curriculum. So he does have the pen time two, which does go into cursive. And I think I'm going to hold off probably till second semester of the upcoming year to do that. I just don't think he's ready with cursive. I want him to work a little more on his print. Uh, so we're just going to focus on copy work for that specifically. Um, coming up here now. And then for math. Uh, for math, we did start the year with uh, MCP Mathematics Level A. Uh, this is just a mastery math program. I really like this program. Um, I just I just like the layout of it. I like the unit uh, setup and how it kind of just sticks on one concept, you know, for many lessons. Um, and then kind of does a review test at the end of the unit and then they start a new concept. So I really like how this is laid out. Fortunately, my kids weren't that interested. Um, so he did the kindergarten book, which actually really helped him, help solidify some concepts I wanted him to get down. Um, and then we did start this, but we didn't get too far. I still use this as a resource. I'll pull out worksheets here and there if I need it. Um, but we did put it down. He went back to, uh, math lessons for a living education. So he did finish. He did finish the workbook and the practice makes perfect um, early on. Well, maybe a little bit after the holidays. Uh, I don't know. It was in one of my updates. Uh, so he did finish both of these. And we took a little break and worked on some uh, concepts I just wanted him to work on. I think it was place value. We took some time to work on money. Um, so we did that. And now he is currently working on level two. So he's working on the practice makes perfect uh, level two and the workbook as well. So he's already started that. We're a few, let's see, around less than three of this. Um, and I probably won't have him, we'll probably do some work uh, during the summer. Like I said, I may do a what we'll do for summer video, but most likely I'll just have. Um, him work on flashcards. Uh, get the addition and subtraction down and we'll work on some money flashcards, various things like that uh, during the summer. Uh, for science, early on we did have an earth unit out of heaven and earth for beginners. So we did get through that. Um, and he, he enjoyed it. He loves science. That is his favorite subject. Um, and we also worked on the nature reader book one. He did the kinder book last year. We're almost done with this. We haven't finished it. Uh, so we may continue on. Um, I don't know, but he's just drawing pictures and writing what the animal is that we're working on. And that's kind of how we do this. Um, so he enjoys this very much. Anything having to do with nature, animals, science, any science related topic, he enjoys very, very much. Uh, so that went well. Absolutely love this series. We've done both of these, uh, for beginner books and they're great. And these are from master books. Uh, we finished the story of Jesus's people absolutely love this highly re recommend um 
it's kind of like church history, how the gospel has been spread, and just different stories, different people that many of them we hadn't heard of, and it's just great. So we are continuing on with this. Um, I did have the, the workbook for it that I did have in the schedule for my son, and we did... I don't know, we did up to, what is this, chapter 21. Uh, and I just, I wasn't too fond of this particular workbook. It was a mix of, I don't know if it, the simplisticness, I don't know. It's hard to even me, for me to put in words how I feel about it, but I wasn't a fan of this particular workbook. Uh, I didn't feel like he was getting anything from it. Uh, the narrating of the story after we read it, we would read it once a week in Morning Basket, I felt like was enough. And doing these work sheets didn't really seem necessary. Uh, so we ended up just putting it down. Um, they do have coloring sheets. They are very detailed coloring sheets. So after a while, he didn't want to do these <laughs> either. Um, they are very detailed. Uh, so... He's more of a drawer. He likes to color, but it's he wants to color the things he wants to color, you know. Um, I think these just, it got boring for him after a while. But we did some of it, and then we just put it down. So I didn't end up getting the activity book for the level two. It's because we didn't need it. Um, but it was a great curriculum. We did enjoy it. And, oh yeah, early on in the year we did start with uh, MCP Phonics, which is another mastery phonics program. He did do the kindergarten level, and it worked really well for him. So I decided I was going to try the level A in the beginning of the year, and I don't know, it got, it started getting too difficult, I think, too quickly. It just... He wasn't ready for it. You know, we had to pause it and just focus on the reading aspect. So we just really uh, focused on 100 easy lessons, did that every day, and put this down. And we really never picked it back up. I ended up putting him back into Explode the Code, which he did the uh, beginner Explode the Code, the level A, B, and C. And he always loved it. I don't know why I decided. I think it's because the Kinder program works so well for him. Um, and there was little stories that we'd pull out and he'd read them, uh, but he just needed to go back to just the phonics, solidifying the sounds and reading. And that's what we did. So we put this down. We didn't pick it back up. We won't be using this in the future, uh, but it is solid. Um, if you like a mastery phonics program, this was great. Uh, it is in color, but yes, we did end up going back to... Explode the code, so he's in one and a half, and yeah, we just started this one. So whenever he gets done with this, he'll go into two and two and a half. Um, with my daughter, I just went to level three, I think it was, three or three and a half. Uh, I like the half books just for actual practice, and then we didn't really continue on with it, so it may be different with him. Maybe I'll continue with the whole series, or we'll stop around book four. I don't know. Uh, but that's where he is with that, and we're enjoying Explode the Co. That's always been a winner in our home. Uh, currently for him, I'm actually, because now we're done with language lessons, before I put him in language lessons for Living Education Level 2, I had this, because I've been decluttering and just getting stuff um, ready to sell or, you know, donated, all of that. I went through all my uh, shelves and just kind of cleaned out a lot of books. Uh, and I had this. Um, I was going to use it, I think, my daughter's second grade year, and we ended up not using it. Uh, and he saw it, and of course, it's probably the lions <laughs> that intrigued him. And then there's a lot of beautiful animal pictures and nature-based pictures in here. Uh, so that it was something that enticed him a bit. So he said, can we try this? Uh, it's very Charlotte Mason. This is from My Father's World. This is Language Lessons for Today. This goes up to grade six. Um, and then there's a writing component that comes in 
in grade four. Uh, so we tried one lesson today and it was just picture study and going through and looking at the picture. Um, and it was super quick. Uh, he enjoyed it. I don't know because it's summer. I figure it's a good time to kind of introduce it. See if he likes it. Um, he's not workbook minded as much as my daughter is. So he, I could see something like this working for him. However, I need to, you know, I need to like, actually, we need to practice. We need to use it. We need to see because, um, he's very imaginative and likes to explain things verbally. Um, not a big writer, which there's kind of a lot of copy work in here. Um, but that could be just a handwriting component. We can eliminate additional handwriting. Uh, so I don't know. We're just going to kind of stick it out for the summer maybe, or at least for the next couple weeks and see how we feel about it. I believe this is only three times a week that you would even, uh, utilize this and then all of our other reading and phonics and other language arts components we would just do daily so it's worth a try uh you know i have it so summertime is the perfect time to kind of uh, play around with it for him in particular for summer like i said we're just going to work on some math concepts um, and read reading he's going to read to me every day <laughs> in the summer so we can knock that out in the morning and they can run out and go play uh, that's kind of my plan for him uh, so currently that's what he's doing. Um, and I think that's basically it. We do have some drills I was having him do. Uh, but I think we're going to try to do uh, visual drilling with the flashcards and see if that helps him um, before we return back to this. So this is just, we're doing chunks of this. This is laid out to kind of get through as much as you can get through in five minutes. I'm not timing him. He's just not ready for that. Um, we're just trying to get the facts down. Um, so I'll probably pick this up with him again. Um, yeah, after the summer, probably next year, the start of the year. Uh, we'll try and pick this up again to see if he can uh, work on this as kind of an independent thing. Um, that's kind of the focus I have for him. So this has been put down. That is a free resource from Easy Peasy, Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool. I'd like to link that down below. Um, but in here, yeah, that's basically everything that we actually used for him. What we're currently using now, um, I will go ahead and, oh yeah, with him, with reading, um, like I said, he is reading through the Pathway Readers. Then we're going to move into the McGuffey's. Uh, then I'll have him probably read the Beginner's Bible. I do have tons of level one, um, like we have tons of readers. There's some in the corner over there as well. Uh, that he'll work on too is kind of like kind of free reads. Uh, I kind of want him to get through all of those too before I decide what to do with him next. Um, he's not really interested in doing any of, even though his pathway readers are kind of chapter books, he's not really interested in chapter books on the shelf just yet. So we're going to get through some of those and see how we get where we are at the end of summer. So that is my first grader. Everything went really well. He's come, he's come so far this year. I'm so incredibly proud of him. Um, really proud of him. He's worked really hard. He's reading so well, which was our goal and we made our goal and I'm so, so, so happy that we got where we are. And so we're just going to keep pushing forward. So that is my first grader. I'll go